here to talk to you about something serious. We're going to tell you the story of our friend Katie. How she moved here from Kenya, and how her dodgy decisions caused another girl to get hit by a bus. <laughs> Actions and consequences. This painting I made will represent teenage female power. <laughs> And this picture of George Michael is something I like to hold when I'm singing. <laughs> it's a cautionary tale of fear and lust and pride based on actual events where people die. No one dies, but how far would you go? Would you be popular and hot? Would you resist temptation? Chicago it is! Yes! <laughs> Did you 
three. We have a new student joining us. Her name is Katie Harold. Katie. She just moved here from Kansas. Kenya. So everybody, <laughs> welcome Katie. Hi. Katie. Hi, I'm Miss Norberry. I'll be your homework teacher. Here's your roster. Oh, I see I also have you in AP Calculus. You must have had excellent teachers at your old school. Oh, I was homeschooled. Homeschooled. That's a fun way to steal money from a union. <laughs> biologists and we've been living in Kenya, but yeah, I love calculus. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> and I've been married twice. <laughs> okay, think you can follow that schedule? Um, I think so. Well, don't be shy. It's really overwhelming for a homeschooled student. You'll be moving from class to class with these... Oh. This is first period American literature. My name is Mr. Buck. Oh, you don't want to sit there. Don Schweitzer saves that seat for her boyfriend. Move! My boyfriend sits there. <laughs> Could I just sit here today? Not unless you're going to tickle my back, bitch. The French people I know just call me Katie. Just say Marie. Marie? Marie? Janice. Janice! Chanel. No. <laughs> Fontaine. No. Lady Gaga. No. Welcome to Health and Human Sexuality. <laughs> this fall, we're going to be doing the state required unit on abstinence. And then in the spring, we do condoms and nutrition. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, hotshot? I have to urinate. Oh, no way home, sorry. It's Katie. <laughs> You've got to ask permission. And then you got to carry this lavatory pass as a carving of a whale. <laughs> May I please have a lavatory pass? Nice try. You can go at lunch. <laughs> Chair of the Student Activities Committee and his art freak, we volunteer to be your starter companions till you find your place at North Shore. What he's saying is we'll help you, Caddy. Oh, thank you so much. But it's Katie. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Caddy. When did you move here? Um, three days ago. Why'd you stop being homeschooled? That I wanna get socialized. Oh, you'll get socialized all right. A little slice like you. You're not supposed to be in here. Danny DeVito, I love your work! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, Caddy, I once read in a tote bag that everything fits somewhere. <laughs> so keep an open mind and a closed mouth, and let's get out there and pick your new life. <laughs> My mama used to tell me, baby girl, don't ever eat lunch on the john. Your mother called you baby girl, singing. Oh. <laughs> so all the ducklings think you're ugly, it's because they've never seen a swan. All kinds of people who need people, so find people you can bear. <laughs> we'll find your group, your herd, your flock. Come take a walk and answer my small questionnaire, which I'll sing to you. <laughs> Judged on sight and nature. 
It's full of secrets. <laughs> Friday, if any of you would like to join our math leads team, 
Kevin here is the fantasy. Hi. So we need four people to compete. And state championship is in Winnetka this year, so things will be turned up. So holla at your boy if you DT function. Harry and Katie here. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Old man Shane. Here when you need me, babe. Nope. Hi, I'm Aaron. Me, Katie. Are you new? I just moved here, so I can have human friends. <laughs> okay, let's dive right in, friends. Chapter one, limits and their properties. What the heck are limits, you say? <laughs> if I write out the equation, the limit as x approaches two of x plus one, the function is what we're taking the limit of. I don't expect you to know yet. X equals three. That's right, actually. Uh -huh. Let's try another. Find the value of k for which the following limit exists. For the limit to exist, we have to cancel x minus 3 from the denominator. k equals negative 3? Yes! Damn, girl! <laughs> wow, are you trying to make the rest of us feel dumb? I'm not trying to. It's just happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Challenge accepted. I'll have to play at your level. Like how J.R. Smith really stepped up when LeBron did. When I was five, I fell in love. Miss Norbury is tough and a little weird, but you get to like her eventually. Oh, like snake meat. <laughs> <laughs> when I was ten, in love again, this Peace Corps guy. I waited hours inside his tent flowers, which made him laugh, which made me cry. By thirteen, I gave up trying. I decided I would be a mathematician. Cause math is real. I memorized a lot of pi because addition and subtraction and division would never make me feel so stupid with love. Like I didn't get it.
can't wear a tank top two days in a row, and you can only wear your hair in a ponytail once a week. So I guess you pick today. Oh, and we only wear sweats or track pants on Fridays. If you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us at lunch. I mean, not just you, like any of us. Like, if I were wearing sweatpants today, I'd have to sit over there with the art freaks. That seems fair. 120 calories and 48 calories from fat. What percent is that? 48 into 120? There's no way of knowing. <laughs> it's 40 percent. 48 over 120 equals x over 100, and then you just cross multiply and get the value of x. Whatever, I'm getting cheese fries. <laughs> Yo, Africa, those fractions were tight, and Kevin now poor, captain of the North Shore mathletes. We're a very chill, dope crew. Also, Miss Norberry says we'd get twice as much funding if we had a girl, so think about joining, because we'd like to get jackets. Oh, um, you can't join mathletes, it's social suicide. Mathletes? You know, why is he by our table? <laughs> I can hear you, by the way. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Beth, take my card in case you change your mind. I also DJ, and I designed that font, so... <laughs> Bye! Damn, you are so lucky you have us to guide you. Maybe after school. I'm gonna take you to the mall and buy you some shoes. Oh, thanks. What size are you? Six. <laughs> really? Wait. What did she just say? Okay, did you guys see how she chewed up that boy to protect me? Yeah, she's rude. No, she's the apex predator. The what? Um, the alpha. They're predators, but if you're on their good side, you can have a symbiotic or come into relationship no, with- No, Caddy, no. Virginia George has no good side, okay? It's like what you just said. She is a predator. Just don't be fooled by the pink. She is not playing dolls. She is stalking the halls for the thrill.
that's Regina's ex-boyfriend. Well, he just broke up with her this summer. I thought she had dumped him for Shane Oman. Irregardless, ex-boyfriends are off limits to friends. That's just like the rules of feminism. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll never tell Regina what you said. <laughs> Let's talk about you. Are you a 
virgin. What? You don't have to tell me, but just know that I'm very trustworthy. Karen's had sex with 11 people and they've never told anyone. <laughs> That's good of you. <laughs> They're laughing. What? Are you okay? Mm-hmm. 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 It's just, sometimes I feel like an iPhone without a case. Like, I know I'm worth a lot, and I have a lot of good functions, but at any time I could just shatter. <laughs> Get, get, get this problem. Well, I 
I do not get any of this. <laughs> it's a uh, factorial. You multiply it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're so smart. Okay, don't sleep on that. She just pretended to be dumb to get a boy to keep talking to her. And it works, because that shit always works. <laughs> hey, we're having a party at my friend Chris's this weekend. You want to come? Me? <laughs> yeah. It's a Halloween costume party. People get pretty into it. Cool. Oh, I meant to say great, and then I started to say cool. <laughs> OK. Girl. Stupid with love. But now I get it. Look who finally found a way. Acting dumb times X equals love. Hey, what's the date? October 3rd, my new favorite day. <laughs> hey. <laughs> if I could change the world, I'd make it. Pretend.
don't have to take her everywhere, you know. I didn't. And honestly, you shouldn't want her around because she's kind of exotic cute in the same way you are, only fresher. Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> but she came by herself because she's obsessed with this guy from her math class. Or she likes a senior. That's a little confident. Who is it? Um. Hey, you made it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I like your costume. It's different from everybody else. Yeah, I didn't know though. I'm such a weird foreign loser. <laughs> no, everybody feels like that when they're the new kid. I only moved here like two years ago. Well, that's not really true. I, I didn't actually move here. My mom lies about our address so that I can be in the North Shore School District. Oh, wow. Please don't tell anyone that. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do on that pop quiz today? I got a hundred, so what do I say? Do I drop it to 80? Would that be okay? Because I got an 85. I got a 60. I, um, I think I need extra help. <laughs> well, I could tutor you if you want. Thanks, that would be tits. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> it's a deal. Wait right here. I'll get you a drink. <laughs> I know your secret. Secret? Gretchen told me you like Aaron Samuels. Gretchen, what? <laughs> hey, um, I am really sorry. I didn't know you did. No, I don't care. I think you guys would be a cute couple. Really? I just said so. Don't be thirsty. <laughs> I could talk to him for you if you want. You would do that? Nothing embarrassing, right? Duh. <laughs> I have to talk to you. Me? I thought you were done talking to me last summer when you started talking to Shane. Don't be weird. You know how that kitty girl just like showed up here tonight? <laughs> She's not crashing. I invited her. No, yeah, no, I know. Just like be careful because she has a huge crush on you. Really? Don't be gross. She's my friend. She's really babyish and inexperienced. <laughs> wow, I didn't think this would be so hard for me. Just promise me you won't break her heart like you did mine. Wait, what's happening? Yes, I look perfect. Ice cream, that's what you see. That's what they all expect from me.
did she do this massive party? Oh, Janice, Janice just doesn't even care. Guys, I already know the story. She didn't invite me to her 13th birthday because she could only have like six people. She said what? Oh, Regina is a hot liar. No, I must. What actually happened was Regina came up to Janice before school where no adults could see her and was like, Janice, I can't invite you to my pool party because I think you're a lesbian. And I can't have a lesbian at my party because there are going to be girls there in their bathing suits. She just kept asking her. I mean, are you a lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What did Janice say? What could she say? It wasn't a real question. It was just like an attempt to snatch her dignity. She didn't know why her friend was doing this to her, so she just yelled, I am a space alien and I have four butts! It was a bad choice. <laughs> but she was 12, and by lunch someone had sharpied space dyke on her locker. After that, no one would talk to her, and it got really bad, and her parents pulled her out of school for the rest of the year. No, it's not even true. I only have one butt. <laughs> Janice, I'm sorry. No, I, Kenny, don't be sorry, okay? It's just like, now you know, Regina George is not your friend, right? It's okay. We are your friends. <laughs> and we're gonna make her pay, right? You know what friends do? They got your back and they are fun to be around. Wow, wow, wow. When someone hurts you and then they attack and grind your phone.
thinking it's late, we should go, and they ran out of chips. <laughs> no, no, no! I can't even watch when she touches his hair. Hey, I watch a snake eat a cow. When she then needs to be toppled, sorry, Gretchen, I swear, forget I'm out of here now. One kitty came clean, and the dad's playing a part of that. She's crying, and her mom and her Rita, she has It's on purpose. 
I'm going for a look. There's a girl who slept with 11 people because you're nailing it. I think your top looks fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Well, that was uncalled for and hurtful and wrong. But it fits with my plan, so let's help it along. Guys, how much longer are we going to put up with this? Their music is like a sine wave, we don't stop. Please welcome Kevin G and the Power of Three. <laughs> in a bright aqua case, that is mine. Please return it. My insurance will not cover a replacement. Okay. Please welcome for the sixth year in a row in this school district, the Hot Elves doing Rockin' Around the Bowl. Rules 
our rules.
wish good luck to Junior Janis Sarkeesian, who is a finalist in the Illinois Art Expo this Saturday. Go Lions! Even for art. Art, art, art. <laughs> Secondly, the Student Activities Committee voted that the theme of this year's Spring Fling was a tie between Circus Under the Sea and Elliot's. So we just put it in for lose. <laughs> and finally, the nominees for Spring Fling King and Queen are as follows. For King, Shane Owen, Christian Wiggins, and Aaron Samuel. Okay. For Queen, Regina George, Karen Smith, Smith, and, and Gretchen Wieners. Wieners. Same old, same old. And Caddy Heron. Ooh. Did you set that up? No. Oh boy. Damien, did you do that? It wasn't me. As junior co-chair of the Student Activities Committee, I would never tamper with election materials. <laughs> so I'm actually nominated? Or it's the Russians. <laughs> texting me right now. Should I text Aaron and congratulate him? No. Well, the last time I texted him, he hasn't answered. So, I know. Guys, he has been rolling out with Regina for like a month. Why hasn't he asked me out yet? I don't know, but I wish you'd keep talking about it. <laughs> hey, do you know ride this weekend? Because Damien borrowed his grandmother's jazzy. What? It's a motorized scooter. <laughs> no, I mean ride to what? My art show. Wait, did you not just hear Mr. Duvall talking about this? Shoot, that's this weekend. Yes. Oh, I can't go. I have to go to this thing in Madison with my parents. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you seem sad about it. But I have to post something about being nominated. And then I'll tag Aaron, and one of you guys can comment, you two should go to get Girl! Uh, Damien, what are you doing? Saving you from yourself. Caddy, I, I did a paper on this. Our prefrontal cortex isn't fully formed until we're 25. <laughs> it's why we're not allowed to rent cars, because we will wreck them just to make a cool boomerang. <laughs> Ironically, I need to scare you straight because this should not be how we roll. We get these ideas and we just can't wait, but there is a price. You want to do slash have it all because you have no impulse control. Yes. So before you snap, tag, like, or God forbid, call, here is my advice. Stop. When you send by text and you get none back, so you want Send a six one stop. You gotta stop. Stop. When you're feeling mad because you think it's more attractive to guys if you're stupid, stop. Do better and stop. I know it's hard to try. Don't instantly gratify. second show was anything goes, and his co-star was some female thing, and when they kissed, which by the way gross, I wanted to murder her, but no one told me, stop stalking him, and that pasty Catholic girl who was playing whole card court, of course, cause basic, stop, stop, <laughs> I couldn't stop, you really need to stop, stop, posting comments on YouTube, as four different people that heard the lovely was pitchy, stop, stop, <laughs> Caring about her? No. Caddy Marie Heron, get back here. Give me another, and I am not making bad choices. Tell that to your fake 
Dave Tudor. I said it. Ladies, help my friend Caddy. What have you learned from your worst ideas? Oh, stop! When you think to yourself, should I get a tattoo of the Chinese word for wisdom? Stop! Check the spelling and stop! It means bucket. Stop! When your baby's sitting here.
I know you're not happy with your body right now, but remember, real beauty comes from the face. <laughs> Don't ever talk about my body! Come on! Um, let me make you a little cat snack. I have some shrimp I can spray with that butter flavored pan. Mom! Gretchen and Karen. I saw in one of the many fake social media accounts I had for your safety. <laughs> those bitches. Run at those bees! Man, you are wrong, party! <laughs> you wanna make some popcorn? Yeah. Okay. Before I go, I know your life is tough. I'm not an idiot. I know a lot of stuff like honey, why are you eating at Cal Team Bar? Those are what we need Nana Joel, but she needed to gain weight.
like your costume. I mean, your, your dress. Thanks. Uh, your room is cool. Is this you, riding an elephant? Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's not. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, come here. Sit down. I'm drinking not soda tonight. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, I can tell. Um, we should go downstairs. No, sit, boy, sit. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me tonight. I've wasted too much time being pissed at Regina. Yeah, you really have. I've, I've been wanting to ask you. Yeah, I read that the Maasai, is that how you say it? Maasai? Sure. I read that the Maasai don't celebrate birthdays. They just become adults when they feel ready. That's true. <laughs> Why did you read that? Um, I was just interested in Kenya for some reason. Do you miss it? No! <laughs> um, I, I mean, I miss walking on ground that isn't pavement all day. <laughs> I uh, have to pay attention more, and it makes you feel awake. <laughs> <laughs> My mom and I, we used to play this game where you close your eyes and name all the birds you can hear. <laughs> we don't do that now. Obs. I was alone a lot, mostly observing things like hyenas and migrations and who cares. Now I have all these friends, I'm never by myself. I mean, look at all those people downstairs. Uh -huh. It's always bad. More people know my name. I have more shoes. More is always better. Cause when you have less, you have more to lose. Wait, that's confusing. See, I don't mind alone. Sometimes alone is good. It's time to think. It's in short supply. You haven't been alone. Try Kenya with one phone. Almost no people, just like animals and sky. You know what? I had more of stars with stars at night. But here there's so much light. I see them less Plus, I'm always cold because they air conditioned air. But in fairness, that could be how I dress now. <laughs> Whatever, I look cuter. It worked, like pretending I needed a tutor. Pretending? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna laugh. I pretended to be bad at math to get you to talk to me. I'm actually really good at math, but now I'm failing. That's stupid. Why don't you just talk to me? Because of Regina, because you were her property. Her property? No, no shut up, not property. Don't tell me to shut up. Oh my god, you're being ridiculous. Just sit down and be hot. You are like a clone of Regina. No, I am more. I am better. No one likes you more. Not anyone, not her. Trying to erase what's best about yourself just to belong. Aaron, you say more is always better, but there's less of you than there was before. So if more is always better, then you should have thought it through a bit more. <laughs>
you're supposed to be out of town? Sixty different people are posting pictures of your party. You know I couldn't invite you. I have to act like I don't know you. You're full of lies. Janice, I cannot stop this jazzy. You know I have a curfew. This is your house. You could have invited whoever you wanted. You could have like, changed the way the world works. You just decided not to. You would hate this party. Why are you having an amazing time with your amazing friends? Janice, I can't spend every second with you. It's not my fault you're like in love with me or something. What? Oh, no, she did not. <laughs> yes, that is the thing with you plus if you think everyone is in love with you, but actually everyone just hates you. You made me like this. It was your idea for me to pretend to be plastic. Buddy, it's not pretend. You are as plastic as they come. You think your shit's on the stage. You think the rest of us are dumb. I mean, Regina's guts. Janice. No, it's
wrote it, but really she wrote it. Miss Salinas, why would Regina write Aaron Samuels as a fake address? Isn't your boyfriend or something? It says that. I don't remember. And why would Regina refer to herself as a shady, choked out, fugly cat? <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> I have an apology. I, I have a friend who's a new student this year, and I convinced her that it'd be fun to mess up Regina George's life. Yes. So we gave her these like candy bar things that made her gain weight, and then we turned her two best friends against her, and then Katie, and you guys know my friend Katie, she got Regina, her boyfriend, to dump her. <laughs> yeah, but as it turns out, my friend Katie is just as phony and selfish as Regina George. And so my apology is to myself, because I really should have known better. So your best friend screwed you over, acting nice when she not nice. Well, I have some advice, because it's happened to me twice. Here's my secret strategy, it always works because the world doesn't end. It just feels like it does, so raise your
There's not a word I use for me now If I were fearless I'd have made better decisions But fearless Maybe the one thing I can be now No friends Nothing to lose Find my way back And truly choose to be I wrote it I wrote that Miss Norbert is a drug pusher And it's a lie Three weeks suspension And you're banned from Spring Fling Yo, yo, I 
Africa. We need you. Can you do it?
hallucinogenic gummy bears. <laughs> First of all, so give me that email. She's never gonna let us in. You wanna just go get pancakes or something? Oh my god, I really, really do. But um, I have to get in there and find Janice. Uh, she won't answer my text, and I can't live with myself till I make it right. I respect that. <sighs> okay, when I reach maximum jackass, you run in. What? I can only do this for you. Wow! I'm not going to show you in the party! Aaron Sandals, you are banned from this event. You're banned! <laughs> <laughs> are you intoxicated? <laughs> if I was drunk, could I dance this good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> about you. I'm the one who got hit by a bus. Well, I'm sorry about all that other stuff, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to forgive you because I'm on a lot of pain medication right now. <laughs> yeah, I died for 15 seconds, right? Spoiler alert, heaven looks like a really nice hotel in Miami. <laughs> that must have been scary. When I woke up in the street, all I could see was my mom's face and Gretchen's big face looking down at me. <laughs> and I looked so surprised. Not even sad, just like surprised that I could be bleeding. But they forgot I was a human person. I've actually been a human person this whole time. I know. It's weird when people treat you like you're famous or something. That's amazing. <laughs> Until it's not. I know I have to change, and I know I was harsh, and people say I'm a bitch. But you know what they would call me if I was a boy? Strong. Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my mom was gonna name me if I was a boy, so honestly, I'd rather be a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if I took your spot in the food chain. Not your fault. Don't apologize for things that aren't your fault. And never apologize for being a boss. If you're gonna be happy in life, Katie, you have to not care what people say about you. Like, truly not care. That's what I keep trying to explain to the president on Twitter, but he blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do we have all our nominees for Spring Flame King and Queen here on the stage? I just want to say that you're all winners and that I could not be happier that this school year is ending. <laughs> Terrible. Not your fault! Don't apologize! <laughs> no, I won't. What 
is my fault, though, is how I treated my friend, Janice. So, I'm sorry. I lied to you, and I left you out, and if we're not friends anymore, I understand. And I'll still treat you with dignity. You know, it isn't really required of you to make a speech. <laughs> so bad, I kind of lost myself in the process. We all do that, I think. We think we have to change ourselves to be good enough, but looking at you guys from up here, I wish you could see it. You're awesome. Great. Most people just take the crown. <laughs> crown. Right. Here in this light, it could be platinum. Actually, it's kind of dumb. We could really just share it. Whoa! <laughs> she So 